Welcome to Family Matters. The Herald on Sunday screamed with the headline, White Girls Don't Have Sex. It highlighted the comments of a Massey University researcher who believes that well-off parents, especially Pākehā parents, are in denial over their need for their teens to have the HPV vaccinations, otherwise known as Gardasil. The vaccine is offered free to girls when they're in year eight, age 12, when it's argued to be most effective. But parental consent is rightly required. Now, data from the National Immunisation Register in New Zealand shows 71% of Pacific Island Year 8 girls were vaccinated last year, 63% of Asian students, 62% of Maori, and just 52% of other students, which is mainly New Zealand Europeans. But there's a couple of problems. Firstly, the researchers say that about half of New Zealand 15-year-olds are sexually active and therefore desperate for this protection for their behaviour. Half of 15-year-olds sexually active? Wrong. The health and well-being of New Zealand study by Auckland University of 8,500 secondary school students in 2012 found that approximately three quarters of students have never had sexual intercourse. Abstained. Shock horror. They're not sexually active. And that's not just the 15-year-olds, that's a survey of all high school age students. Secondly, the fact of the matter is that parents of all racial groups in New Zealand are rightly rejecting the pressure to have their children vaccinated for an infection which isn't a communicable disease like meningococcal B or measles. It's a consequence of behaviour, being sexually active at a very young age. Therefore, the suggestion that parents of well-off Pākehā girls are naive, well, frankly, it's insulting and patronising. At the moment, students are being proselytised with unbalanced information through their schools or health organisations, and I believe some parents are being bullied into an uninformed response. But even those who worked on the development of the vaccine now say it may be unnecessary. Dr Diane Harper of the University of Missouri, Kansas City School of Medicine, who worked on the tests to get Gardasil approved, said 95% of women who are infected with HPV never, ever get cervical cancer. Pap smear screening is far and away the biggest thing a woman can do to protect herself and to prevent cervical cancer. In the US, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that its Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System received approximately 25,000 adverse event reports of side effects from the girls and young women who had the vaccination in the US. 8% of the girls experienced serious side effects ranging from infertility to death. Other countries such as Japan have removed their recommendation that young people get the vaccine because of the number of adverse reactions. Let's be clear, we're naturally all supportive of any attempts to fight cancer and parental knowledge and consent are essential, especially when the infection is not a communicable disease but a consequence of behaviour and while the jury is still well out on its long-term effectiveness and its potential harm. Perhaps the parents in denial that this media report disparagingly refers to are actually making an informed, considered decision. I believe that an informed parent can make the best decision. You can find out more information about Gardasil on our website, familyfirst.nz. There's a smartphone app, and you can sign up for our regular midweek updates on family issues, and of course, you can support our work. Join us as we stand for families, because family matters.